20 hours ago, we uploaded this Twinkle Twinkle Spectacular on our tiny channel of 110 subscribers. I must say these are amazing results. I never expected on this spectacular video. If you want to learn how to do this spectacular, join me. I'll show you a little bit of a clip. You can always go watch it at Zoe's Corner, the full thing. Please join me. Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Then you show your tiny light Twinkle for each child you lead the way Turn the night into day You're a little star you are a little star. Everybody is a little star. The journey is going to start by you creating a beautiful kids song that you can use. I use Suno.com and on my style of music, I added matching band, fun, kids, playful, upbeat. And I got this Twinkle Twinkle Little Star song that is a version of what we can use created by Suno. Next, you're going to log in on Canva and you're going to access your Canva and open a blank canvas. We are using a YouTube canvas because we're using this for our Zoe's Corners YouTube channel for kids. So this is our kiddies one. So we're going to call this a Twinkle Twinkle Spectacular video. And then you're going to access your elements and you're going to search for stars because you're going to start by adding a background on your first slide. So we're going to look for galaxy star and just a beautiful background that we can use something like that. Next, we're going to start with text. If you have watched content from Webon, he is amazing when it comes to creating animation and text animation. So this, all credit goes to Webon. I got the idea from him and I thought I can use it for our Twinkle Twinkle Star. So you're going to start by adding the text and you're going to type the Twinkle Twinkle Star. So we're going to make that caps. Now we're going to make it nice and big. And you duplicate that and you make the second part. Next, you're going to select the text and go to the three dots and show element timing. And you're going to reduce the timing to show at a particular time for your element. And then you do the same for spectacular. And then you're going to go to your effects and you're going to show hollow. And you do the thickness to be around 10. Next, you're going to duplicate both text. So let's start with spectacular. And then we're going to go to our effects. We're going to go to our effects and we scroll down to neon. And we leave it at 50 and we align it on top of the first text. We duplicate the second. Again, neon. Again, 50. And we align it on top of the first then we're going to go back to animate and we scroll down to neon and depends on how quickly you want it or how intense you want it and you leave it at character and not the word and then you do the same for spectacular neon and we leave it at character and then when we play it It looks like that. Thank you, Webon. Great stuff. Then we are happy with the introduction. We love it. Next step is for us to get the music. So we're going to go to our arm bloats and we're going to go find our Twinkle Twinkle song that we created at Suno. And then we're going to adjust our animation based on the song. And... <laughs> Then 
we add the second page, we continue with our background that we're using. So let's just duplicate this so that we have it sitting somewhere. Next, we are going to start creating the spectacular. Your match and move is your best friend with this one. We're going to go to our elements. You know I love my 3Ds. And you're going to search for star, which is 3D. And then we are going to go to our graphics and find a smiling star like this one. I love this one by Sketchify. We're going to add it to our canvas and we'll start creating our spectacular. So you're going to reduce the size of your star and you start aligning your stars next to each other. Luckily, Canva can see exactly what I want to achieve here. So they will follow my lead. Happiness, we're going to copy the stars, duplicate them, add them below, duplicate them. Canva must, can tell what I want to do. We want to align our stars this way. Now we're going to copy all of our stars and we're going to animate them. So we're going to click on animate and we're going to scroll down to pop. Great stuff. We want to make sure that our stars, all of them, all of them are popping on enter and not on both. Once we're happy with that, we're going to copy the bottom section because it's just easy to do. And we control C to copy. And then we always want to have this extra page. So we're going to duplicate that as a buffer. And then we're going to paste. And we are creating a Z because this is Zoe's corner. So we duplicate again. We have a Z. And we duplicate again. And we rotate. Awesome. Then we have our Z. We align the Z. And we have our second page. And if you want to see how it looks like. Now we need to start adjusting the slides time. And we reduce it to something like 2.8 or 3 seconds long. Awesomeness. We do the same. The sooner it starts animating and showing a spectacular, we're happy with that. Then we're going to go to our next page we duplicate and we continue with our spectacle we're creating a zoe's corner here so it's a zc am I? Me, I'm happy. We reduce that. Third page, we're going to duplicate so that we have the extra page. And we continue with our spectacular. What we're trying to achieve here is to create a spectacular. You know those synchronized artistic swimming? So you can be as creative as you want with these. Copy them, click on animate, clear the pop, create animation, and then we make them move till the end. And if you're not happy with your straight line, you can always delete it and do it again straight. Awesome. And we click on done and reduce the slide and see when they stop and then you carry on with your funness like that twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder 
what you are. Awesomeness. The video turned out to be quite long and I think it's probably going to end up being 30 minutes or longer. If you are interested in that, please let me know in the comments. I'll do part two, but I want to show you the next step. You know, Canva has these cool apps that we can use most. So we're going to go to our apps and we're going to find there's this one app that duplicates everything. Uh, that's one of my apps that I love, which is called Replicator. So you're going to select the icon, make sure that it's an image and it shows you that you can edit because then you can replicate it. Sometimes when I do graphics, it doesn't want to pick them up. And then you can have the app replicate the stars for you so that you have a lot. This is the video you can go watch if you want to learn how to use the replicator app. You can use different designs on the replicator to fit the spectacle that you want to create. You can have round shapes, you can have diagonal, you can use different kinds of shapes and make the spectacle that you want to see for your video. For example, I selected the star and I used the wave and I adjust the wave the way that I want it. And then you can play around with the type of design that you want. When you scroll down, you can edit to your design and after you've made your adjustments. So once you've added to your design, this is where the fun part begins. You make your adjustments after it's on the design. What's important, it comes in as grouped. You can then ungroup it so that you're able to animate it. So after I've duplicated the slide and I had the group of mine that I want, then I would click on ungroup and then I would go and animate it. So you ungroup, go click on animate and then click on animation. And then because they're still selected all of them together, you can animate them exactly the way that you want. And you create an absolutely beautiful illusion and a spectacle which is the point of this video in its entirety For each child you lead the way. end of your hard work you want your video to end off as a nice closing like a black closing you're going to add a last page and you're going to press r for rectangle change the color of the rectangle to black and just edit or cover your whole page like that and then make sure that the music ends with the last scene and then on your transition transition to match and move you don't want it to be that long just so that it fades away quite professional and nice somewhere on our spectacle we had a morph and zoom of the stars rotating with a galaxy if you want to know how to do that go watch this next video that you create an amazing spectacle thank you so much for joining me we will see you with our next video